Welcome to the Spiritual AF Life Podcast, a magical place where your host, Heather Danielle, psychic medium, will bring the mystical woo-woo world down to earth in practical ways. Tune in every Monday for your weekly reading and on Wednesdays to hear fascinating conversations with spiritual experts, uplifting stories, and deep dives into the metaphysical world, all to help you tap into the invisible guidance that's all around you. It's time to start living a spiritual AF life. Get cozy. The conversation is starting now. What do your spirit guides want you to know about the week ahead? Well, if you are wondering, you are not going to have to look any further because you are listening to the Divine Forecast show of the Spiritual AF Life podcast. So before I get into this week's reading, because I chose the card deck that I'm using very intentionally for this reading for this week, and it really has to do with honor of my bestie who passed away a few months ago from breast cancer, and she always listened to this show. She was one of my biggest fans. I actually met her through doing a reading, and What ended up happening was on Saturday, I was meeting up with a new group of friends and my husband and I were talking and for some reason I started thinking of my bestie um, who passed away and I started tearing up and, you know, kind of crying a little bit because obviously I miss her and she knew that she was going to go. Um, It was a very quick cancer that took her, her breast cancer, and she knew And so when she found out that she was going to be put on hospice, I mean, like, she had just gotten diagnosed, you know. And so I think she spent a couple weeks in the hospital, maybe like two weeks, and that's when they're like, yeah, we can't help you. You have to go on hospice. So it was very devastating. But she was able to say goodbye, which is a good thing. And in one of the emails that she wrote me, like, the words keep on haunting me. And those words are, I'm going to miss you, girl. (laughs) And I'm right back at you, girl, because I I know you're listening to me right now, Teresa, and I miss you too. And I'm getting your signs. And I heard, (laughs) I I heard your sign the other day. And I want to share with everybody because it kind of relates with what we're going to be talking about for the week ahead. And that is on Saturday, I went out with a different group of girlfriends. So Teresa was a part of another girl group that I have, but I went out with this other new kind of group and we got to tour this really cool haunted restaurant uh, and it was so much fun. And as we were leaving, and this is the same night that I was crying to my husband about how I missed her and, you know, what she said about how she's going to miss me. And as we were walking out the back door, there was this envelope that was right in the middle of where we were going to walk. So my friend's friend kind of picks it up and puts it right back on the shelf. And you know me, everything happens for a reason. So why was that one envelope in our walkway? Like I have a picture of this envelope in my mind's eye. Like it's there forever. And I was like, wait a second, that's just so weird. Like how'd that envelope get here? Like I don't get it. And so when he put it on the shelf, I was walking behind him and I went ahead and just glanced at the envelope. And on the envelope, it just had one word and the word was Teresa. And I just instantly knew, I started tearing up, like, Teresa was with us. Is she haunting the restaurant? No. She's probably there joining us because she always thought that this kind of thing was kind of neat. Well, not at first. Teresa was very kind of apprehensive, wasn't sure if she believed in psychics and mediums and things like that. Long story short, she came and seen me, became a believer, and then we became besties because she was a really cool, badass hippie back in the day, and she did some crazy cool things, and she... It's a kind of like an idol in a way because it's like I want to be like her when I grow up as in I don't want to, you know, be stuck to social norms. I want to be someone that thinks outside of the box. I don't want to just because I'm getting up there in age doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, live with one foot in the grave. You know, when I had just met her, she had just bought this um, uh, bright red Mazda Miata. And um, I think she was in her late 60s when I met her. She was in her early 70s when she passed. And so it was like so awesome. Like she's like, no, I am not just going to drive like a minivan around or, you know, just like an old little like Buick or something like that. She's like, no, I'm going to get my dream car. And so I thought that was really amazing. And I just hope that this story also inspires you to pay attention to the signs that your past loved ones are sending you. And Just keep thinking like it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence because the more that you keep on believing that it is not a coincidence and it means more, you're going to get more evidence that shows that it is more than just a coincidence. 
I swear to God, I think that many of our past loved ones are going crazy trying to get signs to us. Okay, so now how does this play into this week's reading? Well, I am going to be using a card deck called Map. You might have heard of it. It's by Colette Baron Reed. But this map deck was actually given to me by one of our besties inside of our girl group that Teresa belonged to. And this is actually Teresa's deck that I'm going to be using that um, our bestie bought and she was never able to give to Teresa because Teresa got sick really fast. So I am using the map deck and I just love it. I just love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So in case you don't know, Colette Baron Reed redid the map Oracle deck. So I have the original and then this is the new one that our bestie um, have gotten us. And the map Oracle is a little eccentric and a little bit odd. I really wanted to get rid of it and like throw it out the first time that I ever used it, but it kind of grows on you. It's kind of like, I don't know, like an old dog, <laughs> you know, at first you're like really not sure. And then before you get to, you know, you get to know the dogs, like you get to know the cards and it's like all the little quirks and things. You just kind of fall in love with it. And that's how I feel about this deck. So without further ado, we are going to dedicate this episode and this reading to my girl, Teresa. I love you so much, girl. And we're going to get on to this week's reading. <laughs> and you know what? It does not start off that good, okay? So today, Monday, is Stormfields, and it's the number nine. So, man, today you might have to uh, expect the unexpected today, all right? So it might even be the weather might be kind of crazy. You might have some weird things that happen in nature. And also you just might have a little bit of weirdness, you know, with meetings and with work and timing of stuff. The thing is that that spirit is wanting you to know, though, is to not stress about the small stuff, okay? Because just let it go. Just let it slide. That is the big thing. They want you to know that this too shall pass, okay? And it's okay to not get involved into dramas okay if anybody else is going through anything you can be there shield yourself shield your energy be there but just listen okay because I feel like some people too if you are not the one that's going through the drama the chaos today then you might be the one that is subjected to it and if that's the case try to just remain unbiased okay and just try to be there for your friend and just listen. I really don't feel like you should even give advice because I feel like they won't take it. <laughs> I'm also feeling a connection to the month of September probably because that nine is standing out. And so I definitely feel like this might be relating to somebody whose birthday is in September. Ooh, okay, that was kind of a short and sweet one. And just so you know, in the book, this is number 18 and 19. Just in case, 18th of the month or 19th of the month, it might give you a little bit more insight about who Spirit is talking about with this for some of us. Okay, we're going to move on to Tuesday's card, which is number 37, Cleaning House. All right. I post all of these pictures of the card of the days on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest. You really have to look at this card. I really want to know what you think of it because it's really weird. It's very eccentric. It's very odd. When I first seen this card, it honestly scared me. So just let me know. It's like like a half of a of like a woman, if you will, and then her legs are broomsticks. It's kind of odd. But anyways, number 37 is Tuesday and it's cleaning house. This is going to be something that you need to do if you haven't already. And I'm not just talking about cleaning your own house, which I do feel like the spirit is saying, because many of us have collected some things, things are not organized. And even though we don't feel like we are affected by it mentally, we really are. And that is hindering our progress, our movement, our mood as well. And, but they also are talking too about cleaning the house of your mind and also the people that you are around. And what they mean by that is, is let people go that are leaving your life, okay? And the people are too much drama and things like that. You don't have to make this big declaration like, I am never talking to you again. No, just be unavailable. Don't feed into the drama. And then if someone wants to leave your life, leave them. Like I have some people that I love, that I adore, that I have been best friends with for as long as I can remember. And now I can tell that our friendship is going through a season that I don't know if we're still going to be friends. I don't know. But I'm just trusting the process. I'm just like, okay, God's will be done, right? God's will will be done. So if it's meant to be, we will come back together. And even though it hurts and I want to like set the record straight and everything else, I can only do so much. So if it's meant to be, we will come back. And remember, sometimes as people leave our lives for a season, 
or sometimes they're just in our lives for a reason. And so we just have to kind of trust that. Now, the other thing too, is that the spirit is telling me that we need to let our emotions out. As you can tell right now, like I was getting very choked up thinking about Teresa. I love her. I totally miss her. Um, maybe there is a little bit of guilt there too. Like, oh my gosh, did I see her enough? Did I do enough? Does she, you know, we always think about things like that. We need to allow those emotions to come out because if we don't, they can create blockages within ourselves. And then that can create an imbalance, which can stop us from being healthy and happy. And how that really plays in is like all of a sudden if you don't allow that emotions out, the energy has to get stuck somewhere because you're not letting it out. Emotions are energy in motion. So you're not allowing that energy to move. And so where is it being stuck? So for some reason in my ears is coming up, in my throat, um, like in those kinds of things. And so if, I, if the energy is stuck there, I might have ear issues, a vertigo, ear pain, headaches. That's why I think a lot of people are having headaches. And so maybe it's not. Maybe it's going to be in your stomach, which can cause, you know, IBS issues and, you know, digestion problems. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's going to be showing up somewhere else in your body. And I tell you what, it's going to show up in your body wherever you are the weakest. Weakest healthy, you know, health-wise in your body. So that is something to think about. So on Tuesday, we have some homework to do. Cleaning our house, cleaning our life up with people, accepting that, and then also cleaning up our mind. And there's also a cat too. So I don't know if someone like lost their cat or whatever, but this cat is really standing out to me. But I feel like this cat is lost and then was found. Um, but whatever it is, like if you lost your cat, maybe you lost your cat like a long time ago and you don't know where the hell the cat is, I do feel like the cat is okay so it's almost like they're letting me know the cat is okay. So I don't know what's up with it. I don't know if it's a cat that passed and now the cat is in heaven and the cat's okay. But I don't know, but I'm seeing a cat. It kind of does look like the one on the card. So the, the cat is like the, the, what is it called? The tabby cat, which is like orange and white. But anywho, totally um, and seeing that. All right, so now this is kind of crazy. Wednesday's card is number 38 and it is Heal the Ouch. One of my favorite cards out of all of my decks I have. I love it because it's a little raccoon like trying to be helpful to this little fox or whatever that's hurt. It's so cute. And it is number 38. So it's just really kind of funny because 37 was Tuesday and now 38 is Wednesday, which is telling me that we're growing a little bit. Like we are going to be having some of that movement, which is really, really good. In the book, it's number 76 and 77. So keep an eye on that. And then it says forgiveness is the healer of the soul and it says this is a time for soothing of the heart body soul and mind as this card indicates the healing that will be prevalent in your life now if you feel drawn to study the healing arts you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness however the message may be that you're being called to change your behaviors in order to heal the earth perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty free diet eating less meat or perhaps you'll pay attention to how much water electricity you use you're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life and commit to the healing path. I don't get that. I'll be honest. I don't get that with this card for this week. I feel like this is talking about, okay, maybe you're going to get some, some answers from your doctor. Maybe it's going to be a time to actually make a doctor's appointment. If you've been thinking about Reiki, whether getting Reiki or even learning about Reiki, going for that certification, you need to do it. Also, I feel like there are some people that are listening who are pranic healers or who are also like Reiki masters. Like you need to practice that a little bit more. You need to offer your services to more people. Remember when you are acting in the, in service for, spiritual work we also often think like I'm not good enough I'm not good enough like I suck what if I do this what if I do that no it's not about you it's about the people that need you that need your healing okay and spiritual work whether you're talking about psychic readings mediumship readings Reiki sessions all of those kinds of things it's a service just like any kind of skill, you should be compensated somehow for that, whether it's going to be, you know, of course, money, of course, is one of them, but some kind of trade, you know, especially when you um, get really good in it and you have invested a lot of your money and things like that. So I don't know why, but I feel like somebody needs to hear this, like make it about the other people. All right. You need to put yourself out there because there's people out there that need you. OK. And the same thing. I don't know why, but I'm going back to that money thing. This is something that I always say. If it's meant to be, then spirit will provide you the funds. 
All right. And if you don't have the funds to do any of this, then you have to ask spirit, say, hey, bring me that money in so I can do this. Now you have to keep up your end of the deal. So if you say spirit, I need the money to be able to do X, Y, and Z, then make sure that you spend that money on X, Y, and Z. Because if you're anything like me, especially when I had like a sacred, sacred mindset around money, I would be like, okay, give me this money and I will take that class or I will, you know, enroll in this or I will do this. But what I ended up doing was just trying to like save it or I would pay more bills with it or whatever. But making sure that you actually say do what you say that you're going to do. Keep your promise to spirit because then spirit's going to keep their promise to you, if that makes sense. Okay, so a little bit about that money situation too going on on a Wednesday. So maybe healing any kind of crazy lack money mindset that you might have. All right, so now Thursday's card is number 39, which is kind of crazy because now we're at 37, 38, 39. And believe me, I did shuffle these cards. So this is talking about a lot of growth that's happening um, going into this week, which is funny because the Lion's Gate, as far as I know, is happening on Wednesday. And this is number 38 card on Wednesday, which is an 11. And now we're going into 12 on Thursday, which is really good, which is number 39, protecting treasure and in the book it's number 78 and 79 and it says you are always protected and divinely directed so it's almost like you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed on Thursday I feel like a lot of like stress like and here's the thing you don't have to do everything, especially on Thursday. You might feel like you need to because you want to get this off of your plate. But the thing is, you need to just prioritize. That is it. Let some S-H-I-T go through the cracks, okay? Don't try to be everything to everybody. Don't try to get all the answers. This is going to be a day where you're not going to get your email box to zero. You're just It's not going to happen. Don't, some, you're, people are just going to have to understand or tough marbles on them, okay? So... I also feel weather is really weird going on this week. I'm not sure if it's going to be hot and cold and rainy and, and, and uh, sunny, but I feel a lot of that. Um, so get outside when you can. And uh, anything else that's going on for Thursday? Yeah, if you can... I was going to say, if you can meditate, but I really don't feel like meditation is what we need to be doing on Thursday. If you can do it, that's awesome. But I feel like it needs to be something a little bit more uplifting. So whether it's going to be like a fun bike ride or going swimming or paddle boarding, something really fun, um, so like dancing, dancing to music, dancing to music while you're cooking, those kinds of things. Like we really need to raise our vibration up on Thursday. It might be just that there's a crazy week for some of us. And then by the time we get to Thursday, we are just like pooped. Okay. So definitely do that that and if I were you if you are traveling I would definitely making making sure that you are packing for all different kinds of environments and weather okay so definitely bring that umbrella just in case even though it says that there's no rain in the forecast but I feel like there's some extra little things that you need to bring with you even if you're not traveling out of state but even if you're traveling within you know the state making sure that you have everything that you need I feel like there's like this missing link or you're missing something so definitely try to pack early or if you are just traveling around the state a little bit, like making sure that you like write a list down even today so that you don't forget it on Thursday just because I feel like your life is going to be a lot easier if you have everything that you need. Okay, so now we are moving on to Friday's card, which is number five and it is the Goblins card and it is number 10 and number 11 on, in the book. So the Goblins card actually came up the last time that I used this card deck, but I used the original map map deck. And what it is, it's talking about just being very, very mindful of the people that you trust and the people that are around. Because you might have somebody that's not being totally honest with you. And some people like were really scared of this card the last time and they were messaging me being like, oh my gosh, this card scares me. And like, who's lying? And that kind of thing. Well, here's the thing. This card is mostly validating to you if you already think that somebody is lying to you, okay? Because this card is letting you know that, hey, maybe they're not telling the whole truth around it. But if you have somebody like this in your life, I feel like Spirit is saying, you already know. It's almost like they're just validating it. For now, for the rest of us, like me, I don't feel like there's anybody lying to me in my life at all. So what I'm going to take is just making sure that on Friday, like, okay, 
you know, do I believe everybody? Everybody good? Yeah, we're good. Then don't worry about it. That might not be a message that's for everybody on Friday, but I feel like spirit is just trying to get it through to some people who actually need to hear it and who actually need to hear that you need to trust yourself, that you need to trust in you and stop putting putting so much stake in what other people say, every, everybody else thinks, all right? So and that's something that I think that all of us can take. On Friday, you pay attention to you and you go with your own gut instinct because if you go with what someone else says, then you might be regretting it way more. All right. At least if you make your own decisions and you mess it up and you choose wrong, at least you can say that you trusted in yourself. At least you can say that you honored you. And what many of us are stuck in right now is that we have really given our power away to other people. So when we can say that we trusted ourselves, even though we were wrong and be confident in that, that's going to bring us back pieces of our power to ourselves, even though we are wrong. And we can be like, hey, I still love you. You know, you were wrong. If your bestie has ever given you advice and it was wrong, you don't hate her because of it. You're like, well, thank you. I know that you had my best interest at heart, even though it doesn't work out. But I want to thank you anyways. You can do the same thing with yourself. Be like, hey, Heather, or whatever your name is, right? Be like, hey, I love you. I love you even though you were wrong. And that's okay. I'm still going to trust you. We're going to learn this together. Not every piece of advice is going to be taken. Not every piece of advice is going to be correct. We are human. We were literally born to make mistakes. Like that is in our DNA. We were meant to. We're not meant to be perfect. And so the five also on Friday is really giving me the vibes of change and movement. That's usually what five stands for. But yeah, a lot of change, a lot of movement. So maybe there's going to be some static energy, but then I feel like it's building up. Remember the 37, 38, 39, and then going into Friday with the five, a lot of that change going into the weekend. So that's really good. And also I have to tell you too, that numbers are huge this week. So making sure that you're paying attention to the numbers on the clock. I totally would say if you're seeing those angel numbers, 333, 444, whatever they are, then I want you to talk back to it and be like, okay, what do you want me to know? Don't look in the book, ask, and then see what you get back right then, okay? Maybe you also get an impression. Maybe you start thinking about something. That's going to give you a little bit of insight. If you still don't get it, then I would literally be like, okay, send me an email about it, God, <laughs> and then see what emails in your inbox actually like stand out to you. Maybe give them a day or so and then see if an email comes in with that same time that you see on the clock. So for example, if I see the number 333 and then I'm like, yo, WTF, you know, what in the world do you want me to know? And I don't get anything. Then I say, hey, send me an email. And then I'm going to monitor my inbox for any emails that come in around 333, 444, you know, so forth. And it's probably going to resonate with me. Maybe it's going to have a name in the email. Maybe it's going to have some kind of theory. Maybe it's going to have some kind of question I need to ask myself. Maybe it's going to bring up a memory within me. And that is going to be my clue on why they are sending me the numbers. But also really big is our past loved ones sending us numbers coming up this week. For some reason, they're just really talking about family or family coming together. So keep that in the back of your mind. Maybe there's going to be some plans on the horizon. But anywho, I think that is it. It's all done with the messages for today. So making sure that you check them out on Instagram or Facebook. Um, Instagram, spiritual underscore Heather Danielle. And Heather Danielle Psychic Medium on Facebook. And I believe that's the same thing for Pinterest if you want to check out these cards. Well, I hope you loved it. And guess what? I'm going to see you on a Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual AF Life podcast. You'll find all the links to resources and more in the show notes. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the incredible episodes that are coming up.